Right, you guys, what is going on? Welcome back. Welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to the 2020 NFL Draft video. This one's going to be short and sweet. It's only three minutes long. I'm not going to take too much more of your time, but I am going to introduce the video by saying its title. Now, the title is, What was the biggest surprise from round number one of the 2020 NFL Draft? The man we have on screen right now is none other than Steve Smith. And I assume we're going to hear from a few others too. So with that being said, let's get into it. Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane is quite go get it like me. Wow, please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Biggest surprise for me is the San Francisco 49ers. They don't really have, they didn't have a lot of picks. They had two picks in the first round and they had immediate impact impact players. Uh, you know, obviously in the offense, they had, they lost Emmanuel Sanders. Marquise Goodwin is on the trading block and they get Brandy Ayuk, who is such an imp impactful player who's gonna really pair well with Debo Samuel. Um, and then Why they that? go ahead and get the D lineman as well. We're losing the uh, fourth buffer. And his what was that that came off and went flying? Was that his face mark? As well. Oh, damn. What was that? Um, and then they go ahead and get the D lineman. What is going to go flying, guys? Is it his boot? <laughs> it is his boot. <laughs> well, we're losing the uh, fourth buffer. And his impact, they already have a strong defensive line. You add that kind, that young man who gets to learn and also impact. So the San Francisco 49ers won. When he looks damn skinny, I'm not going to lie. Have another pick to 156. That would be in the fifth round, just in case you were wondering. Wow. There you go. So you're saying, Steve, that they made the most of those two picks, didn't they? I mean, they really went out and were aggressive, knew what they wanted to get done, knew what they wanted yeah. to accomplish. Hey, this guy's been playing Madden too much. And got it done, being able to get that big defensive lineman to replace Buckner. And we know how big they are on their defensive front. And then to come back. Mate, if I could just stop you there and ask you one question. When's the PS5 coming out? And get that receiver who fits what Kyle Shanahan does so well on offense perfectly in Brandon Ayuk. For me, the surprise is the Las Vegas Raiders taking the corner in their second pick. Not because they took a corner, but it was who they took. David Arnett, the cornerback from Ohio State. Because on a number of people's boards, as we did this mock stuff all the way through, we were wondering, where's Christian Fulton from LSU? He doesn't get drafted. Jalen Johnson, one of my favorites from Utah, he's not drafted in the first round. You would have thought they would have been rated ahead of Arnett. But Mike Mayock, with his eye for talent, he also has conviction about what he's looking for. And in two drafts now, we're starting to get the pattern that the, oh, me, the Las Vegas Raiders, when they like a person, they're going to go out and get that guy because he fits what they're looking for. That is one competitive SOB. He is going to get after it. He's going to do his thing. He is going to be something. That's exactly what they want. Competitiveness out on that corner. Damon Arnett fits that bill really well. Remember, I can't wait to see the Raiders this year. The number one corner had a lot of balls thrown. There's one thing I need to really check. Developed this last season. Yeah, Charles. So those two corners, two of six Six quarterbacks that actually went in the first round. Six corners in the first round. What, wow. what are you convinced of, Steve? Just the way he sold that pick. I mean, he was, he was ready to set second or third round pick. Okay, got it. Just the way that Charles just broke it down. I'm, I'm over there like, man, huh? go get him. <laughs> Great pick, Mike. <laughs> All right, see? Hey, that's what, that's what Charles Davis does, man. He can sell, sell, sell. Charles Davis. All right. Uh, I just want to check one thing. It just reminded me when they talked about the Raiders. And it takes me about 12 months back when I was watching Hard Knocks in my living room and it was the Raiders and a great man came on screen. He had strawberry blonde hair and a raspy voice. He got up the front of the class and said, but more than anything, I want better execution. Are we clear on that? I want better fucking execution. And that was the legend, my friends, of better fucking execution. All right, guys, let's continue. I do want to check one thing. Where is Hard Knocks going? 
Where is Hard Knocks going next? The HBO series Hard Knocks is planning to feature both of the NFL's Los Angeles teams, the Rams and the Chargers, for the 2020 version of the show. And I assume, seeing as the draft has happened, that they will be filming already. And they'll be filming throughout this coronavirus lockdown. So that's going to be really interesting. This season of Hard Knocks is going to be sick. But to be honest, every season of Hard Knocks is sick. What a show. What a fucking show. They need to do that with rugby. Pick a professional rugby team every year and do a behind the scenes pre-season documentary series like Hard Knocks. If you're not going to have a combine for rugby players, at least have a Hard Knocks series. That's all I can say. And with that being said, in the next video, we are looking at every first round rookie and their family's celebration after being drafted. It's about 4 minutes and 41 seconds long and if you're dividing that by 32 draft picks, we're probably going to get about 12 seconds per pick. Cheers, Roger. Cheers.